What's up, fish fellas and fish fillets? Those are fucking gross. My mom loves those, or used to, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about Mustang today. Uh, I've shown it a couple times, my hacked roof repair. Um, still holding up pretty good. Just don't, uh, don't hit it too hard. So, yeah, um, showed a little bit about it, I guess. I have the front clip back on it uh, temporarily. Again, I guess, wanted to mock it up. Was sick of just seeing it black. Uh, it had black fenders and chalky eraser colored rubber, terrible front end color. Uh, so I just hit it, hit her with the old razzle dazzle, the old shitty can of red oxide primer because it's better than black, I guess. Whatever. Uh, bought some sweet shitty wheels for it. 200 beans. 200 beans. Hard to beat that. Tires, not that good. They're round ish and they hold air. It's good enough for me. But uh, yeah, so kind of took, I really haven't put much time into this, honestly, uh, which is cool because it, it's kind of almost a car. I got a couple things today I want to show off. Uh, some pretty cool friends doing some pretty cool shit for me. Um, so yeah, let's show more about the car and then we'll talk about it. So obviously car, we have all seen before. Uh, it is a 79 notch. Uh, it was a draw through carb turbo, blah, 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 blah. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I got the car with an 80, four, five, six front end. And then I didn't, I don't like that. So I put this front end on it. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. As you can see, the old, the old 302 holding strong. Uh, yeah, so front end is just kind of bolted up poorly. <laughs> Um, motor does run in chassis on key. Uh, the disastrous wiring is on my lights and wipers and such. I have throttle linkage set up. There's no transmission in here at the moment. Kind of torn on trying to fit a Getrag 360 in here, but like, do I want it to shift like a truck? Eh, I don't know. I kind of want it to be fun. And I hate to say this, but I've never, I've never made a factory manual car automatic before. So that kind of hurts me to do, but I don't know. I just think it might be the move for this one, uh, which I'm ashamed of, but whatever. But it does run on the key. Uh, I had to make my own starter for it. I know it sounds kind of dumb. I think, I don't even know if I'm right in saying what I'm saying, but a starter comes in three pieces for these. There's the nose cone an adapter, and then, well, I guess four pieces, the motor itself and the solenoid, but the solenoid is built into the adapter. So I had to use the guts from one solenoid in another adapter, and then the nose cone from, I believe, a first-gen four-wheel drive. It's rotated almost 180 degrees offset, but the bolt pattern is the same for a first-gen uh, engine plate, the little thin one. Uh, I don't know. So I did that with a later gear reduction motor on it, because the steering and the starter were interfering and you kind of need both. You don't get to choose one. So uh, made my own starter. She tucked down, down in there. I don't know, you can't see it, but now the motor is flipped and hanging down. Uh, solenoid is up top. It's a little weird. The steering does clear, but the steering shaft comes right by the big lug for the battery terminal. Kind of odd. Um, I think I'm just gonna put a chunk of rubber or something around it, whatever. Uh, you can see the hood is, you know, closable-ish. I'm gonna cut and rotate that a bunch. Um, the stock radiator, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna use a stock Mustang radiator for now. I don't think it's really gonna get that hot. I am gonna intercool it, intercool it uh, because I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see more than that through the hood. And quite frankly, I don't even wanna see that much of it. But for a 12 valve and a Mustang, I mean, Hey, not so bad. It's got a, it's a first gen motor, but so obviously corresponding with that, it has a first gen oil pan on it, which come to find out are actually shorter than later P pump and 24 valve oil pans uh, in height. They are like an inch and a quarter shorter. Uh, so now the oil pan is not as miserably low before that thing would just sit like, you know, half inch off the ground. And uh, that's bad, but now it's it's up there a little bit. I do think I might actually still shorten it some, uh, you know, whatever. We've got a couple 12 valves sitting around in the shop now. This one's a junk motor that I got locked up. I've been rebuilding. I did the whole rotating assembly, new bearings, new pistons, rings, whatever. Gapped them super loose. The piston, 
I mean, the fucking cylinder walls are pretty pitted, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But trying to be into this for as cheap as possible. We got these studs. They are $26 on eBay or 24 or something even like that. Uh, they're the same brand that the LS dudes use all the time with great success. So we'll see how that does on a 12, uh, on a 12 valve. So whatever. But yeah, no, I, I almost think I'm going to go. I got an option. I think I got an offer for a cheap 47 RE that's known good. And I think I might just go full manual valve body with it. And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's still got a seven and a half inch rear. Good gearing in it, but I would like to find some 270 trees or something for an 8.8. I do have an 8.8 in the backyard that I can throw in. I uh, don't have the side trim for the car, so I'm probably going to eraser wheel all the shit off and then paint it black to match like I did the side trim. It actually came out a little glossier than I thought. It's low gloss black from Duplicolor, and uh, you know, I'm a big fan of that stuff, but I, I feel like on the bumper itself, it came out all right. At some point, when I can afford it, I'm gonna either rattle can or have somebody do the front clip, the actual Verico glow, red, whatever shitty color that is. Uh, I, actually, I like the color. And then I'm gonna do the pinstripe again. I just wanted to see it not black and kind of one color-ish. It looks really bad on this side, but when it's in the light outside, it doesn't look so bad. Maybe it's because I'm in the dark garage, whatever. But uh, yeah, pretty stoked with how this is coming out. Um, Again, really, I, I bet you I have less than 15 hours into this whole car, how it sits right now, genuinely, which is pretty cool. But let's get into some of the stuff that a couple people have sent me. Let me set my phone up here. And uh, this is a leaky box. Yeah, leaky box. And we got a little guy over here. So let's see what we got. Uh, so I'll start with this one just because it's easy. It's one thing. I don't even fully know everything that's in that other box. Uh, I got a buddy, Briar. Briar? Weird name. It's like Brian with an R. He's a cutie though. He's over in California. He's got a pretty cool little first gen. It's a, I think it's just two wheel drive, but it's a very nice white single cab long bed, 12 valve, but he's building some big dumb crazy motor. So I keep buying all his leftover parts. Bought his, he upgraded it at one point. No, it's a late truck. So it would have come with a WH1C, but I bought the WH1C from him, freshly rebuilt, put it on a Mercedes diesel. It's now in a C10 square body that I have here. Uh, it was on a 606. Um, bought some fucking ripsticks from the boy. Some uh, five by 18 injectors. Put them in my dually. I have a shitty video, uh, whatever. I filmed it this way for the Instagram, not this way for the YouTubes. But uh, whatever, I threw those in the truck. The truck, I think I'm actually gonna build a 12 or a 24 valve for. I want a VE, a 24 bad, so bad, bad. And uh, I think I'm going to put a 24 valve back in the truck and VE it. Uh, I got a 24 valve my buddy Joe gave me. That's going to be down here this weekend or early beginning of next week or something. And we'll see just how shitty it is. It's a 53 block too, baby. Ah. Uh, anyway, so we'll see how that goes. But I think when that happens, I'm going to pull the injectors out of the truck and put them on the Mustang or in the Mustang rather. But in the meantime, got this sweet manifold from him. He went with a billet. A nice billet manifold. I don't got rich money, so I'll buy it from him for a third of the price in two years. Uh, you know, whatever. But cool three-piece DPS. Pretty stoked on that. Pretty damn stoked on that. It's in good shape, too. Uh, which, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's used. It's not brand new, but... That's going to be sweet. I think, really, Mustang... I don't have any big power aspirations for the Mustang. It actually started originally because I had... A first gen that i was like oh i could just pull everything out of the first gen and put it in the mustang i have a car with no engine that was a good running car and a truck that i don't care about that runs well i'll just put the stock auto 12 valve from the truck in there and the truck is just too good to take apart like that uh it's ugly as fuck but it's a good truck so whatever so i ended up buying the junk locked up motor and checking it out and it I would put it in the Mustang with no hesitation because I don't, if the car breaks down, who cares, you know? I, it's, I've driven it once in the past year and a half I've owned it. What, what difference does it make if it doesn't run, right? But uh, I ended up finding a deal. This is a long, crazy story. Guy was selling an engine, VE motor, takeout, really nice, no trans. I mean, it is nice. 
rebuilt pump on it. I have no idea the miles on it. He said it's like 160 and it looks like it very well could be, but, and it runs like it very well could be. I hate, side note, I say, oh, it drives me nuts. Everybody does these little blow-by tests on their 12 valves, right? They take the oil fill cap off and they set it on there and it doesn't dance around. Block your PCV, bitch. Do it. Do it. Let's see that cap fall off. Where's your blow-by going, buddy? Is it all going out of that hole? Do you have a PCV? You do. Block it. Tell me how it goes for you. I know how it goes for my truck. That cap's in fucking Narnia. <coughs> Doesn't work like that. Anyway, that thing, I got no PCV tube on it, so I can just reach the tap the cover and put my finger over the hole, put the cap on there. It doesn't wiggle. If I was smart, I would just put that motor in my truck because my truck makes me money. I'm not, so we're not doing that. But nice motor. Guy had it up online for 1200 bucks. I was like, yo, I will fucking wire you the money right now. I will come tomorrow morning. No questions. Oh, I have somebody on the way. I said, cool, I'll give you $1,800 to tell him to piss off. Oh, I can't do that. No, he really needs it. It's for his dad's truck. Boo hoo. I'm like, yeah, I'm bad. I bet it is. That thing got picked up. And 37 minutes later, 37, I remember it, 37 minutes later, got posted on Marketplace for $2,800, missing the starter, missing the vacuum pump power steering assembly. So I screenshot it and I sent it back to the guy and I was like, hey, look at that. I know it's the same motor. Hey, it's fucking 16 miles away from his town that it was in. And the kid didn't even take the rag out of the intake, didn't unfold the coolant hose, didn't, nothing. He pulled it out of his truck bed, set it on the ground and was like, I'm gonna make $1,600. No. So I harassed him all night long, all night long. And finally in the morning, he said, yo, come down here. I'll give you the engine for the $1,800 you offered. And I agreed to it uh, because I told him like, hey, I, I tried to get this guy to fuck you, but it sucks because you fucked him. And now there's one more person out there that doesn't like the shitty little kids anymore. Like me, I'm a shitty young kid still. I mean, I'm 28. This kid was 18 or 20 or right. He was young. So I was like, yeah, this is why old people don't fucking like us. You suck. This is why 12 hours are $4,500 now and they're not worth $45. It's just very frustrating to me. Whatever, rant over. Uh, ended up getting there and talking the kid down a little bit, whatever. So got the engine, happy, very happy with it. I wish I bought it from the first guy because the first guy didn't suck. Uh, and that kid kind of sucks, but whatever. But either way, this thing is pretty cool. I would love to do, I, I went on a tangent there. I, this kid didn't hurt me that bad, I'm sorry. Seems like he did. Maybe he did. Emotional. Anyway, uh... I would love to get myself a nice little S300, crank the fuel up just a little bit, some good injectors, manifold. I'm running a real exhaust on the car. I'm not doing the hood stack stuff. I thought about a fender, like a low fender exit. I don't even want to do that anymore. I'm running a real exhaust. Up from the back, I want somebody to be like, hey, look at that, that's a Mustang. And then I want them to come around the front and be like, hey, look at that, that kid's dumb. What is he doing? Why is he doing that? That's my goal. Uh, so yeah, so this will be cool for that. But. Thank you, Briar. Appreciate that. The injectors in my truck help a lot. That truck was having some crazy fuel issues and I'm not sure that it's not still, uh, but there's enough fuel through the injectors now to compensate for it, I guess. I don't know. So cool, super stoked, super, super stoked on that. That'll be a nice piece, uh, piece. On to the next. This is from this kid, Justin. Rosavezic, Roskavezic, Ros, Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, it's in a box, a box in a box, because old boy fucking packed up some leaky stuff for me, and it leaky, crazy. Justin, it's pretty cool. I never got so disgruntled with a human so quickly that I've never talked to in my life as fast as Justin. I'm admitting that. I started this Mustang thing, and I knew I wasn't the first one doing it. Darcy up in Alberta has a fucking ripper. He goes by Cole Stang on, uh, on the YouTubes and Instagram and Facebook, whatever. Uh, his name's Darcy, great guy. Chatted with him, he gave me some tips and tricks and whatever to shoehorn this thing in there because I had the idea, but I messaged him and I was like, hey, I don't want to be a dick. I'm not doing this like you. You want to race your car? He races his car, it's gutted. Runs like tens or something, high tens or something. And he's doing the same thing, like budget build. I think he built his car, it was like a rusty piece of shit. Uh, I think he built that thing for like 
3,500 bucks, including buying a donor. And he just like, and it's a, it's a P pump, uh, 47 RH, uh, cool truck or cool car, cool truck car. Uh, but anyway, he no hood, non intercooled. Like he wants people to see it and you know, and it's evident and it's very cool. He races it, drives it cool. So I was like, I'm going to be the second one to do this, I think, or third or fourth, or at least low on the list. You know, that'll be pretty cool. But I want to like, I want to drive it on the road a lot. I want to daily this thing. Uh, girl I'm seeing lives far away. I want to drive it far away and not worry about it and still get good fuel mileage. My dually doesn't get good fuel mileage and those injectors probably don't help it any. But, uh, you know, I just want to be able to actually use the car. Um, so whatever. So I say just, Justin disgruntled me uh, only because I type in like 12 valve Mustang on Instagram's little hashtag thing and i find that darcy's car is an aero coupe uh i find or not rather whatever i find a four eye swapped aero car so it's four eye very similar color to mine with a 12 valve in it gets deeper than that i start looking at this kid's profile and i'm like this kid lives two and a half tops miles away from the house, the last house I had in Massachusetts. And I know the house he's in because I was like, damn, that house is the house I would want to live in if I was to live in Massachusetts still like that. And it, when it went, went for sale, my buddy Joe tried buying it and we were, he was too late. And I was just like, I don't know who it is. Fuck whoever got that house. I am so sad because that house is so great. You could tell whoever lived in this house was into cars a little bit or something. Maybe it was a big wood shop, I have no idea, but it's a nice, nice sizable garage. It's, dude, it's probably only on an acre or something, but it's right on, this, right on the road, nice frontage. And uh, un, you can fit like six cars under the house in the house garage. I mean, it was bitching, bitching setup. And then I just started seeing Fox bodies there before I moved and I was like, meh, Mustangs are lame. Fuck that kid. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> so whatever. Don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. But Justin and I have been chatting, and he was like, yo, check this out. And I was like, yeah, believe me, I fucking saw. And he was like, yeah, man, I'm proud. Yours is going to be done before mine. You should help me with mine. You should this, you should that. And I'm like, damn it. Damn it. I wanted to be mad at this kid, and now I can't be mad at this kid. Nah, he's cool. I actually knew him very vaguely, not very well, through a couple mutual friends um, that did Mustang stuff. Uh, my buddy Zach and this dude Tom. And, uh, you know, he's not a bad dude at all. I'm not saying this because I'm a dickhead. I'm not saying that I think he's a bad guy whatsoever. Clearly not, as we're going to come to find out. But uh, it was I was just so disgruntled. I was like, God damn it, somebody beat me to it. And it's like the same car. But again, I think he's more more oriented on the I want to go fast route, tubular front, whatever. And I want mine to be like, I want my grandma car and my grandpa truck smacked together. And I want somebody to be like, hey, you're an idiot. And that's really all I want. So that's cool. But Justin, good shit. Uh, hopefully he actually finishes his goddamn car so that I can go up there with mine. And we can take cute little photos together. <laughs> we can smooch in front of him. But yeah, no, I'm stoked. Check this out. He sent me a little rubber block. I'm stoked. And he, like, he didn't hit me up. Like, I bought that stuff from Briar, whatever. He hit me up and he was like, hey, I got some cool stuff. You should buy it. I'll give you a crazy price. And Briar sent me like stickers. And every time he wraps some shit up with shirts, I end up wearing them because they're nicer than the clothes I have. Who the hell wraps up parts and snap on t-shirts? Rich dudes from California? Maybe. But whatever. Justin hit me up and was like, yo, if you'll use this stuff, I will send it to you. And I was like, brother, if I don't have to spend money, I will use anything. Anything. Check this out, right? You got a nice ass sump. Who makes this one? Everlast drop fuel sump. Let's see if I can uh, clean the beans. Get you guys a little visual. Yeah. 
Damn, boy. Check that out. It's got a little turbo snail on it. Oh, wow. Oh, that'll be sweet. And you'll be able to see it under the car. I kind of always like that about the Fox bodies. Non-GTs, non LXs, whatever, early stuff. You can see the fuel tank hang below the little LX bumper or whatever. And I always thought like, ooh, when you see like fuel cells and stuff, you look, you look at it from the back and you're like, oh shit, that's pretty cool. Somebody does some stuff with that, you know? So I think seeing a sump under it, probably nobody but me or maybe whoever's watching this would see it and be like, oh, what the heck is that? You know, I'm just going to use the stock fuel tank because I have it and it worked in the car. So why would I change it? This whole thing is supposed to be a not very expensive ordeal. Man. That's fucking sweet. That's sweet. I just did a sump on my truck and uh, <laughs> not because I wanted to and uh, pretty happy with how that turned out. So that's cool. I'm stoked on this and it's green. Wow. Wow. Fucking big ups to Justin there. Thank you for buying that house out from under my buddy Joe. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck Joe. Little bitch. Shouldn't say that. Check this out, though. Oh, yeah, baby. Check it, check it. I don't know how we're going to hide this one. <laughs> I'm sick of this first-gen finger lip pump shit, man. It sucks. The little, I got one right here. Look like it belong on a Chevy 350 with a carburetor, right? Which, I mean, same shit, whatever. I'm not to say that these are terrible, but they suck. I do not like them. Terrible. Just spend the money or do your own thing to actually not run one. Do an electric pump. I don't like... On my truck, the Mustang, I'm all for electric shit. It already has an electric fuel pump. That's fine. But, like... On my truck, the other day, my alternator died. And I drove the truck for like six more hours. I just didn't shut it off. And it was great. Yeah, it is fine. But the Mustang, I'm not going for that. But I mean, I don't know how we're going to hide this under a Mustang so that all the bros know that I'm better than them. But we're going to try it. I'm actually pretty stoked for this. And the dude, I mean, dude hit me up and was like, hey, man, if you'll use this stuff, I'll give it to you. And I was like... You motherfucker, I'm sold. So that's pretty cool. And I hate, I hate, 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 hate those stupid finger pumps. They suck. I just want to get rid of it. So this is pretty cool. Pretty dang cool if I do shy show my shelf. I don't know where the hell we're going to put an air dog. But we gonna. I don't know. Pretty good at cutting shit though. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, so big thanks to them guys. Uh, I'm excited to have some help. And it's all just like, it's just cool shit that friends have given me. Uh, not much of it's really like, any, like I'm getting the trans for cheap from a dude that owns a junkyard I go to that I'm good friends with named Scott. Uh, you know, so I'm super stoked with that. I got the 8.8 from my boy Shane, he's in Gainesville. He's got a drift car Fox that he actually like beats the piss out of and slides around and that's really cool. I'm um, getting some prefab like Scott Rod panels and stuff like that from my buddy RJ. He's got a notch that we put a 606 in. Uh, I got the hood from Shane. I traded him a big cowl. Uh, the nose cone, I swapped to that earlier style like 81 and two nose cone. That was from my buddy Scott. Like it's all, it's cool just cause it's all from friends, you know? And uh, that's what I kind of like. I kind of like that more than anything. So pretty cool. Uh, super stoked on that. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys it running, I guess. If you want, if you want, if you want to. As you can see, uh, it just barely fits in there. The intake horn, I actually rotated the plate. So first gen, the first gen, the second gen and 24 valve plates are all a little different and some of them don't really interchange very well. So I just took the first gen plate, the horn, 
the inlet horn is supposed to be over here, which obviously would interfere with the hood more as it slopes up, there's more room, whatever. So I ended up rotating the plate 180 degrees out, which means I had to adjust my fuel line clips a little bit to line them up. Uh, and it's just a square, you know, equal bolt pattern. So it didn't really matter how I oriented it. And I got rid of the grid heater to drop it down low. And uh, it still hits the hood just a little bit, but I think it's okay. Uh, you know, with, with weight on it, the hood goes down. Uh, and it does rest on those injector lines. I think I'm going to try to shorten the bracket on the injector lines, just to snug them down a little bit. Uh, you don't want to go too much because when they're under stress and vibrating, you know, they'll crack and they're not exactly free. Uh, go figure. Fire does not have a hood prop at the moment. Uh, it actually doesn't have a rad sport, doesn't have anything. Uh, I just put the front end on to mock up radiator stuff, really. Um, you know, so that'll do, I guess. But uh, yeah, I got to figure out a battery box. I think I'm going to put the battery in the trunk on this. Um, I still got to hook up the fuel tank. Uh, as we just talked about with the air dog deal, um, you know, there's obviously a lot to do yet uh, to make it a car, including a transmission. Uh, you know, it needs transmission. But I don't even know if I have a battery handy. I don't know that this jump pack has enough ass. But we will see shortly. I can hear it buzzing. It must be an upset for the car, but will it start it? No, apparently not. Does it work like this? I don't know. You tell me. Can I plug the jump pack in to the wall? And give it more mass if it's charging. Let's find out. The answer is no. Tragedy. Un momento. Alright, so we can't the battery out of something else, but hey. You know what would suck? That rack. Right into the engine. Look at that. Whoops. But the blow plugs work. <laughs> You gotta block the PCB. I see people do that. It drives me nuts. There's no blow by. Everything has blow by. It's gonna have blow by. It's gonna. It's okay. It's okay, little lady. You can blow by all you want. It's okay, lady. She's a runner. She's a track star. Would you just look at it? It's majestic. Bewildering, even. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, you know, very excited. How does this work? Nice, that's cool. Uh, I never, I've had this tripod for uh, ever, and uh, yeah, whatever. But yeah, no, I don't know. It's uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. 
Yeah, I don't know. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I will uh, take more video and such as I go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Have fun.